The other thing is positioning as well. I don't know if anyone's ever seen anyone who's really struggling for breath. When they're in that panic mode, their shoulders are hunched up. They may be gripping mm. quite hard and they're in that panic mode. What I would strongly recommend at that point is to try and get them to relax their shoulders, which is, I, I agree, it's not going to be an easy feat. Let go. And, and I know osteopaths and chiropractors, I've worked with them for many years. Um, we work alongside them really, really well. I've got a lot of time for them in that sense. I'm sure you all teach people to elongate, you know, that string on the top of your head and you elongate mm. rather than just pushing your chest down and causing sort of kyper, um, lordosis on your back is actually to elevate themselves because you've got to think about the lungs and how much they're expanding. And if they're sat forwards, crushing their lungs, yeah. they're not going to expand as well. But that, of course, is the first aid re uh, remedy for someone suffering an acute asthmatic attack is to sit them down, lean them forwards on a table. That is a position. That is one of the positions I was going to go through. So first two is either standing or seated, elevating themselves. If they're struggling for breath, shoulder against a wall. So even though they're elongated, they're, they're resting. The going forward bit, it's interesting you say that. You can either do that against a wall or you can do that on a chair. But what if someone's got a very large tummy or an upper body mm. and if they open their legs it actually ends up crushing their lungs rather than so you've got to go on the assumption that they're actually of reasonable weight and there's nothing here that's actually going to cause blockage so when i'm exercising somebody you've got to be very careful mm. about leaning them forwards mm -hmm. i know first aid will dictate this but i'll also be very careful of how much they're carrying on their top half because it could end up crushing their lungs mm. a little bit as well so that one I think yeah, you've I'm got to play. I'm struggling with that one because if you if you lean forward and you've got a big gut, then yeah. and that gut falls away from your lungs, how is it crushing the lungs? Isn't it? If it can, it? if it can, that's the thing. Yeah. If it can, if it is quite large, then it sometimes doesn't yes. go oh, through. I see. Okay. So yeah. it's that physical. Yeah. You can't get it yeah. past your legs. Right. Kind of movement. So yeah, sorry. That's that's what I meant by that. Is it's it's that large that you can't actually yep. physically get it away. Yeah. But yes, the diaphragm, anything that's going to encourage the diaphragm to work efficiently, mm -hmm. that, those are the positions I would strongly recommend. 